I will request silence and not shouting or trading of words across when a senator is on her feet because it then means you don't respect the house or the orders or the debater, the person who is debating. Can we have, I am giving directive once again, and finally, before I finally take action against defying senators, Senator Essie, proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I also, I want to say that I want to be heard in silence. Your seat, Senator Eddie. You can't keep Resume reminding us Senator of Eddie. being heard in silence and when other people rise to speak, you do not want to engage. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I want to clearly state that it's our greatest height of hypocrisy when the members of the opposition go out there demonstrating then come here demanding that they are given an opportunity for dialogue. It's in this same house where we have complained about statements taking forever and they have been given an opportunity to now engage cabinet secretaries and they end up terming it as unconstitutional. Then they want to resolve to Manda Mano. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, I'm afraid I will not prosecute my issue. Senators, resume your seats. Senator Wabua, you are out of order. Senator Chiradige, resume your seats. Resume your seats. Resume your seats, Senators. Resume your seats. Senator Chiradige. Senator Eddie, Senator Cheradige, resume your seats. Resume your seats. Senator Cheradige. Ah. Senator Cheradige, you resume your seat. I will rule you out of order if you don't obey what the chair is saying. Resume your seat. Senator Eddie, that is out of order. That serves as a final warning. Senator Essie, you address the House and you'll be accorded the respect that is deserved of every senator. Address the House. <laughs> uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. At least I have an opportunity to be heard in silence. I rarely speak on such occasions when noise is being made all over. But today I had to speak. It is a height of hypocrisy when the opposition keeps demonstrating out there and they have been asking for dialogue. This afternoon, we had an opportunity for them to support the motion that is approving cabinet secretaries. Senator Essie is first addressing the House. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I want to repeat, it is a height of hypocrisy when the opposition keeps demonstrating out there asking for dialogue and when an opportunity arises in this house this afternoon we saw they were very adamant to support the motion that is going to admit cabinet secretary to, secretaries to be answerable to members of this house then in return they will say that their issues are not being handled what hypocrisy is this madam speaker i saw my respected minority leader uh, was arrested and is out, of course, because he's a man of means. The other Azimio protesters are not yet out. Even as the Slay Queens kept admiring how endowed you are, and they kept scavenging. Minority leader, I do not think we keep demanding for, we do not, we do not want to keep demanding for dialogue, then we want to paralyze business in this house. The president had an agenda, which order, we order, as government order. are going to push order, and ensure order, the order. Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto is achieved. Madam Speaker, we cannot allow Mandamano whereby what people's property are, are affected, businesses are to paralyzed, I have not all in the name of the dialogue seat. and wanting to sneak through a handshake. We are not going to have a handshake.